how we have to get students at some point to challenge some of those common assumptions that are um, embedded into them early on, you know, from their family systems, from their um, uh, religious institutions, from the educational institutions. And, and, I, and I'm not saying to, you know, throw, cast those to the side, but there are just a lot of things that influence how one chooses a career uh, and opportunity for themselves. And even today, I mean, I still run into students who are really following their their parents, their grandfather's uh, dreams, and yeah. I'm very surprised by it. And so this Love whole that. idea of, you know, how can we liberate students to understand that how you've been uh, bought up is legit, is great, but the world is waiting for your own unique thumbprint uh, to give to the world. And I, and I think that's when it comes to this purpose uh, part that you're referring to. And interestingly, so I wanna, I, I wanna follow up on that because you know, just looking at your book, you spend some time with uh, uh, looking at high school students and how they move through that world into the college system. Um, being in high school is tough. And there's an assumption that you're going to embrace a career early on, which I think is just a disaster. Is it's uh, it's un, it's 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 not a great thing to do to a kid that is trying to understand the world. How would you say we address working with students to you know find their path? Yeah, you're you're spot on. Um... And we know, we know you're right, because how many 40-year-olds are doing now what they said they were going to do when they were 16, <laughs> right? Very, very few. So, so what I, I have a video out on that topic. All your listeners can go to. It's called The Four Skills and Four Steps. And I talk about it in my book, and I did a lot of research kind of boiling this down. And it's a video for high school students. And regardless of who they are, where they're from, what their socioeconomic status is, what their educational trajectory is, or their occupational trajectory might be. There's four skills and four steps all students need. So the four skills are all students need academic knowledge. They need to be able to read and, and write and, and, and perform. They need life skills. They need the second skills. They need to know financial management, a little bit of understanding, uh, you know, legal bases, understanding um, how to set goals, time management, personal management, uh, computer literacy, et cetera. The third skill all students need is employability skills. It's not just how to get the job and how to keep the job and how to pivot when industries change. And then the fourth skill is the only one that's industry specific and that's technical skills. So all students need those four, but there's four steps we know from the research that all students should go through um, to successfully identify and maximize their, their likelihood to have, to have an advantage when they graduate. And those four steps is first, self-exploration and self-awareness. Really understanding who you are, your strengths, your personality, your deficiencies, your gifts. Secondly, then, it's career awareness, understanding what are the jobs out there, right? The Department of Labor says there's over 950 jobs. Most high school students can't name 30. You know, they only know what they know from their parents or what they see on TV. So part of it is just understanding what's all out there. Then, then the third step is really then, and this is the piece of mind that most students miss, it's that intersection of the two. It's then finding, okay, then given what's out there and given who I am, then what are the occupations that's going to be a good fit for me? I actually have a children's book coming out this summer called There's a Hat for That, inspired by my four-year-old uh, daughter right now. You know, there's a lot of occupations out there and you can put the hat on but some hats are gonna fit you a little bit better than others. So it's that process of aligning who you are with the opportunities out there. And then the fourth and final step is then that, that educational and vocational plan to then learn what are all the skills, knowledge and certifications and work experiences you need to actually then enter into that field and be competitive, not just to be mediocre, not just to get into the interview, but to excel and to be world-class in that. And so that's the last step that unfortunately, as you know, that's where a lot of our conversations start. You know, when, when, when a student comes into the counseling office, high school or college, it's normally, what's your name? What's your major? Okay, let's look at your courses. You need to graduate. And they miss these other steps. So the, the last step is that educational plan. If students followed that sequence, they are, are I can't use the word guaranteed because as you and I know, there's no guarantee, but they are setting themselves up for a higher likelihood, a higher probability that they're going to enter into 
a college, a training program, a military branch, you know, or a work experience program that's going to be just the right fit for them. 